Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Can you hear me? Hopefully you can hear me. Excellent connection, very good. <laughs> Alright, do you see the main screen? Do you see the, the card that Amy sent me? So that may be the trick. Awesome. Hey, North Jersey Detector, how are you, sir? Let me get the chat here. All right, well, uh, Amy Part-Time Detector sent me a an Easter card. <laughs> Yeah, I there was an there was an OBS update and I lost a lot of the things. I got the chat window, but I lost all my cameras, so I had to reconfigure that. And when that all happened, I uh, I don't know. So I went through YouTube beta. I didn't go through classic, which is what I've always used. And that classic just didn't work. I tried it last night, it didn't work. I tried it earlier, it didn't work. So, hopefully this will work. So, hey, Marty, how are you? So this is the card I got from Amy. And as you can see, it says it's Easter. And you know what that means? When you burp tomorrow, it'll taste like chocolate bunny. Have a tasty Easter. And she sent me a couple of her stickers. Those are great, Amy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That was really sweet of you, Amy. And in Amy's card was that. Here, as a matter of fact, let me move the card out of the way for now. And it was this. Uh, <laughs> this is from that guy, Rob Random. And Rob had a giveaway. His channel reached a thousand subscribers. And so congratulations, Rob. And to celebrate, he had a lot of giveaways. And I was lucky enough to win one. So I thought I would open up Rob's card and we can see what it is together. So that's that's what it is. Hey, hey Mike Badger, how are you? Good to see you. And hi David. All right, let's take a look here. It's just taped on actually. You know what? Well, I guess I do have to cut it open. No. There we go. All right. If I miss you in chat and you want to say something, put my, you know, highlight my name with the at symbol. Let's see if. What do we have? Wow, nice job wrapping this rod. Oh, look at that. That looks to be a George the Sixth. Sixpence, I think. Let me put it into the microscope. Oh, will I? Let's see. This will be a good test because I did not set the microscope up with the OBS update. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, I'm seeing it here. So there is, yep, George the Sixth, His Majesty. So that's Elizabeth's, Elizabeth the Second's father. 
and that is a sixpence from 1940. And I do believe that is 50% silver. That's excellent, Rob. Thank you. Thank you so much. So it made it across the Atlantic without any problems. And that's really nice. I appreciate that. And congratulations on your thousand subscribers. Well done to you. Okay. Thank you, Rob. That's very kind of you. And much appreciated. All right. That was mail call one. Now this next one <laughs> came from Charlie. Charlie Riser, Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium. And Charlie had emailed me uh, about a week ago, maybe not quite that. And his, or his, he texted me and his text said, congratulations on the mystery giveaway package. I, I have no idea what this is. For a giveaway package, it's kind of big. So, as much as I wanted to open it, I thought I'd wait. Now, I thought these had like a rip cord you could pull. I guess not. All right, here we go. Hi, Amy, how are you? Thank you again for your card. Did I miss anybody here? Mike, Amy. I think I have said hello to everybody. All right. Well, yeah, see, I thought there was something right there that you could pull. Maybe I'll just do it anyway. Oh, maybe that is it. Or not. All right, here we go. And now don't cut toward yourself. All right. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hey, hey! That looks like an MRE, but I'm sure it's not. Uh, let's see. Well, again, nice. A package of the much desired Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium toilet paper. Or as you may say in Great Britain, lavatory tissue. Awesomes. Still have that one from before. Thank you. Let me read the note. I'm going to read it off camera, though. <laughs> if it's a puppy, it uh, came close to getting neutered. All right, I can read this. Riverdale Coins, Riv. Through the generosity of North Jersey Detector. Jason, what are you doing? He has passed his prize of last Tuesday's live stream to you. So I didn't, work's been crazy. I didn't even have a chance to watch it. We had a particular or peculiar sponsor for the last stream's giveaway, and folks seem to have guessed what the mystery giveaway was. Use it in good health, and see you on the tube, Charlie. Well, thank you, Charlie. Well, it is taped up like it could be sent around the world. Hi, Thor, how are you? <laughs> That's right, Mike. Uh, okay. Go right here. Wanted to get, didn't want it to get out. 
That's not, uh, it's not whimpering. Empty. in heaven <laughs> oh my goodness all right the nominee patriot for the use of spiritual sancti amen that's not a creepy one I I, I I i i don't know what to say it's adorable did, did you get it with a Happy Meal, Sandy? <laughs> yeah, it came in a Happy Meal from Helltown. Now, that, that's actually not too creepy looking. Let me see if I can focus on her a little bit more. She looks pained, but not creepy. Oh my gosh, that is funny. And she's not moving on her own, so she's not possessed. Oh, wait, she is moving. Yeah. Sandy, that must be from you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> not creepy yet. What are you suggesting? I could, I could creep her up? I, I don't know. I've... Hmm. <laughs> super, is, it, is it super creepy? Brad, it, it's not that bad. Look at those lips. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be locking this in the safe tonight, so just, you know, I guess I hear pounding on metal. <laughs> uh, all right, Charlie and I have gone back and forth. <laughs> all right, I'll get off camera. Charlie and I, Charlie and I have, have gone back and forth sending each other um, ciphers, and I, I have to admit, I thought this was going to be a site, unless this is, well, there's nothing in code there. Um, <laughs> uh, I, so I, there was a part of me that thought, okay, maybe it's a some sort of bizarre cipher, but that's... <laughs> And this was, <laughs> this is gifted to me from Jason. Uh, Charlie, can you text me Jason's address? Maybe his work address too? If you happen to know it. <laughs> and you did wrap her in plastic, so now she's breathing. <laughs> That's a good one, Mike. I put her a camera in the safe. I'm going to snow her some more. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right <laughs> all right my wee doll back in the back in your cardboard coffin you go <laughs> i'll stuff the paper in there too i won't stuff the paper <laughs> uh I have an idea. <laughs> uh, all right, you all probably know uh, the Flat Stanley story, but and kids will send Flat Stanley to different people, different relatives, different friends, and you take a picture of Flat Stanley, and you either send the picture to the person who sent it, Flat Stanley originally, or you could do something on social media. I'm kind of thinking... I can start a creepy dolly Facebook post and we send this to different people and you have to take a picture of creepy dolly. By the way, she needs a name. Sandy, does she have a name? Did I call her Sandy? But if you have to take a picture, my thought is you have to take a picture of her in some historically significant, perhaps even 
disturbingly historically significant location in your area. That will teach me. <laughs> it's work. I see. I didn't mean to. I bet. I think up to that point, Sandy, I've been batting a thousand with Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium. It was just it, it figures the week that I didn't go. North Jersey Detector threw me to the wolves. <laughs> That's my flat ceiling guy. You know what? I I I think Esmeralda. Okay. I like that. Lemonhead, how are you, sir? You know, I'm I'm gonna I'm going to kind of go off a little bit on YouTube because uh, if you were watching yesterday, I was having just like a devil, speaking of the devil of a time, I was having a devil of a time with um, uh, with YouTube and live streaming. And I ended up going through YouTube beta. I, I always went through classic. And Lemonhead, your, I, I had, not only had I subscribed to you, but I had the notification bell turned on. I was unsubscribed for, uh, to you. I was unsubscribed to... Who else was it? I don't know. So something strange is going on YouTube. I haven't been on as much. I don't know if that has something to do with it, but uh, I'm... Lemonhead, I am resubscribed and, you know... Resubscribed and the bell is, is on. <laughs> oh, Thor, I won't send it to you, I promise. What what would Scotland do with something like this? You have enough ghost stories and haunted castles up that way. <laughs> All right, Esmeralda. Okay, we'll go with Esmeralda. <laughs> oh my gosh, Thor, that's just YouTube. Yeah, it, I I've heard other people having that problem. I, I've well, first I think YouTube is awesome. I'm not trying to be an apologist for YouTube, but, but I, I think they are awesome considering what you can do and that it costs next to nothing. So I'm trying to temper what happened with me with YouTube a little bit. So if anybody from YouTube is watching, I think it's still an awesome social media platform. But yeah, something in, in my case, something really went wrong. Uh, it, it's easily fixed, but I now have to go through and figure out how or why I'm not getting notifications from a lot of the streams that I've I mean, it's not like they, they are channels I've been to once or twice. Like Travis's auctions, I've, I've been there a lot, and uh, I, I just didn't get anything. And anyway, so if I have not been on YouTube as much as I normally am, part of it is because I am trying to cut down a bit. But yeah, I'm... notifications went haywire. All right, in any event, uh, so... What do you think? Should we do a, should we do like a flat Stanley? Because I know exactly where I'm going to photograph her. In fact, Charlie and Brad, I sent you pictures of this cemetery and some gravestones. So I'll probably go back there sometime soon and put creepy Dolly there and take pictures and post it on. I guess it'll be Facebook, and uh, I don't have to send it off to somebody. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing cute about that, Sandy. Oh, let's see. Lincoln says, I lost five subscribers. Yeah, it, it's... It, it, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But then again, I can't imagine... Uh, well, YouTube's making money hand over fist. And even if they weren't, they're part of Google, which is making money hand over fist. But, you know, it, it logistically, it just must be crazy from an, you know, an IT perspective what... YouTube must have to do just to keep things going. So it's not surprising that these things happen. But anyway. <laughs> I've had that problem. I've been trying to resubscribe. Yeah, that's it. That's it exactly, Mike. So now I have to go through and, th and think, okay, how come, you know, I haven't received notifications for, or I hadn't received notifications for, from Lemonhead Penny. And so I have to go back and see what's going on there. Hide knives away from Kay and Esmeralda. Oh, Carrie. <laughs> Is Carrie on here? Oh, I should send... No, I won't say that. Your mom... Yeah, exactly, Lemonhead. I was going <laughs> to... Don't fire me, man. Well, you can... You know what? You, if you have to, I, I... That goes for anybody for 
on anybody on whose channel I'm a mod. If if I'm, I, I, no no problem if you need to pass the torch to somebody else. Esmeralda's trying to hypnotize me. I'm coming to get you, Mike. <laughs> Trillion up and downloads. It. I, I'm yeah, exactly, exactly. So if my little channel, um, if if things go a little wrong with that, I, I guess in the grand scheme of things. All right. Well. All right, Esmeralda, you're going to go on a little trip in New Hampshire, and then you're going to go visit somebody else. Who will it be? All right, stay there, Dolly. All right, the last uh, mail call I have is I got this today, and it came from Great Britain. It came from England, and it is from – oops, I shouldn't – yeah, I'll cover up his address. It's from B. Saunders, who, if you don't know, is the giant Garrett detectorist. Good night, Thor. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, I don't have nightmares over Esmeralda. Yeah, see, Travis, if you take me off as mod, I'm going to totally send Esmeralda your way. And she won't be happy. So, let's see what I got from Ben and Sarah. Oh, it's quite a bit in here. What? Really? And a letter. I will read it off camera. Sharing. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I can I can definitely show you that. You know what? A while, but I I like sending people stuff. Uh, but if I do, I don't expect anything in return. And I sent some stuff to Ben and Sarah uh, a little while ago. Hey Jonathan, I know you said not to send anything, but we did anyway. LOL. Not sure what you had or needed. So a few random coins to do with, as you see fit. Also something I know you won't have. All the best, Ben and Sarah. Thank you, Ben and Sarah. Uh, I'm going to guess this is the thing that I don't have. I'll save that for last. Yeah, a few coins, Ben and Sarah. It's the whole collection. You, you guys really did not have to do that. goodness. Oh, no way. These are coins that you detected. All right, let's see what we have. You know what? I'll do these under the microscope. Let me switch back. That looks like an Elizabeth, a farthing. Nope. A half penny. Elizabeth II. And here, she's upside down. And Elizabeth. A shilling. Oh, that's terrific. Gosh, the British. Really make gorgeous coins. That is nice. That's in gorgeous condition, too. Wow. Thank you. What is that? That is Her Majesty again, 1971. Is that like too harsh? Hello, 
Huntress Kimmy and Claude Hopper Scott. Another half penny. Very nice. I got a whole stack of what is this? Adventure Island Fun Park. That's neat. That's a token. Interesting. I wonder where Adventure Island is. And that is George the Sixth. And that is a threepence. Probably from the war. Yep, 1943. Wow. Wow, you guys, Ben and Sarah, you sent, you're very, you're very generous. And that's a ship hay penny. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna guess that's Elizabeth. Focus in on the date. Yeah, the 60s, that would be Elizabeth. So again, gorgeous coin design. Very nice. Wow, this is fun. It's a lot of fun. And we have a large penny. 1906, and there's Britannia. So I'm going to guess this is Edward. And it is... Yep. Edwardus VII. So that is Victoria's son. Because Victoria died... 1902, I think? Oh, that's, that's a nice condition, too. And what do we have here? So that's George V, so it, Victoria, then the crown passed to Edward, then the crown passed to George V. So this is Edward's son. That's a nice shape. Because that's a halfpenny. Yeah, 1928. There's Britannia, their shield and trident. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, here. Sorry if I'm ignoring the chat. Oh, a lot of people saying I had to re sub. Yeah. So, that should be a project for you. Go through your subs and. See if anybody watches this later, and I haven't been on your channel, it might be because I, same thing happened with yours. Oh, it's Elizabeth. Dei Gratia Regina. Fidef, Fidelis Defensoris, Defender of the Faith, and that's a sixpence from 1957, yeah, 57, and this is, wow, this must have been pulled out of circulation, 1994. Look how nicely British coinage, you know, that the, has a nice warm tone to it. American coinage does not do that. And that's a twopence, twopence. Very nice.
And that is one penny with a gate. Nineteen ninety eight. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Thank you, Ben and Sarah. Let's get back to the. Thank you so much. So that's the. That is the collection they sent. There. And their letter. All right. So. Any guesses as to what this is? So. Let's see. <laughs> ben and Sarah live in Bridli uh, Bridlington. <laughs> That's neat. That's a snow globe. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That is awesome, thank you. Thank you, Ben and Sarah. <laughs> That's great. See? Okay. I have that. Where is it? So I have Thor shovel still on my desk. So this will be earn a place of honor on my desk. Along with Riser's Treasure Entering Emporium. TP. And Esmeralda. She'll be around for a little while, but she's probably not going to stay very long. She's gonna go on her own adventure. That is terrific. Wow. Well, Amy, thank you very much. Rob, thank you very much. Charlie and Sandy, thank you very much. And Ben and Sarah, thank you very much. That's terrific. Absolutely terrific. I really appreciate it. <laughs> That's neat. That is neat. You are all wonderful people. And it is a pleasure to know you. Let's see what we have in the chat. <laughs> Fish and chips, a sandwich. Silly putty, no, brown sauce. <laughs> uh, this hadn't... No, I, I didn't think for a moment that uh, Ben and Sarah would send anything. Either off-color or creepy. That is neat. All right, well... This was going to be a really uh, fairly short chat, and I'm glad it's working. So uh, I will sign off, unless you have something to... Well, you... What do you think? Should we do... Instead of Flat Stanley, it'll be Creepy Esmeralda. Should we do the Creepy Esmeralda thing? Send her to different people? Or should we not do that? I don't want to... I don't want to cause trouble. Not that she's trouble. I don't know. I'll be kind of... If I do that, I'll be kind of sad to get rid of her. Well, I'll think about it. Uh, oh, another thing. If you are in the United States, remember that this week is the ANA's uh, National Coin Week. And it's the week that... A lot of dealers are participating, and collectors are participating in something called the Great American Coin Hunt. They're intentionally releasing a lot of classic collectible U.S. coinage into circulation. So, in your check your pocket change in the next few weeks or so. Uh, you might be surprised what you find, and if you're a coin roll hunter, again, you might be kind of surprised what you may find. Although for coin roll hunting, it might take a little longer for the the coins to uh, to get in the coin rolls, but yeah, check your coinage. You might find buffalo nickels or mercury dimes or Indian head pennies or Liberty head nickels. Um, so do that. And <laughs> let's see, Mike. My address is above. Okay. 
And so Rob is at a thousand. So if you haven't subscribed to Rob, definitely do so. I don't think Ben and Sarah are quite at a thousand, but they must be close. So please encourage everybody to subscribe to them. And uh, Charlie is, he's over a thousand, but still definitely subscribe to Charlie if you haven't. And uh, yeah, Rob's at a thousand. Amy, I'm not sure. Amy, you must be, you must be over a thousand, Amy. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen your numbers in a while, but if you're not, you are well, well there. <laughs> Hoosier said, I put a silver rosy in a few wheat cents. That's awesome. I have, um, I put aside, that's a war nickel. That's a war nickel. This is, that's a 1940 Canadian penny. This is a 1941 copper cent. That is obviously a buffalo nickel. 1936 Philadelphia. And this is a 1917 Philadelphia wheat cent. So I'm, I'm definitely going to put those in, into circulation and I will throw some um, mercury dimes and uh, who knows, maybe maybe even a standing Liberty quarter or two because I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Scott said, I was just at 666 subs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Esmeralda, what do you think? You want to go to your Scott? You're in England, right? Yeah, because actually, yeah, because I saw you at the. Somebody had a, I think it was Rob Random's Detectable. Scott, were you at Detectable? That looked, oh, it looked pretty amazing, and uh, that. Uh, the medieval coin hoard that they found. That's pretty crazy. Six, six, oh good, all right. So Lincoln, thank you very, very much. You ticked that number up a bit. <laughs> oh my God. Saw in the news this morning that a guy in New York City is putting out gold $1 coins. Wow, I mean, you mean the... Like the ones from the the eighteen hundreds, that would be amazing to get that. Hey Spitfire, how are you? Thanks for joining us. That hoard is worth around two hundred thousand. I, uh, no, that's that's that's. I, I'm really happy for whoever found it. Uh, I'm an American, yes, went detectable. My third bid. I have exclusive hoard for. Oh my! Oh, see Scott, there too. I know I am subscribed to you, or was subscribed to you. And when I subscribe to somebody, in the coin community or in the metal detecting community, I, I click the bell. Oh boy. All right. Well, I'm gonna write that down. I will. When I sign off here, Scott, I will. I will check that out. Cause I, I will bet you that something happened there with my channel. What's the hoard? Silver necklace pen. Wow, that's awesome, Scott. Now, you probably mentioned this in your video. Do you, in Great Britain, you have to declare it, right? The British Museum has to, or the local. Historical Council needs to take a look at it. Because I would, well, I, I guess I shouldn't assume, but I would imagine that the detectorist who uncovered that medieval hoard, he's probably not going to get much of it. Or maybe he will, I don't know. Maybe maybe things like that are fairly common in, in out that way.
Mike, I've been dropping all over town. A few more and I'm done. That's that's great. They did have a map uh, a few weeks ago. Actually, uh, Hoosier and I did a quick talk about different things. And um, we talked about some news, some coin numismatic news stories. And when I checked the map then, it was... They had a, a site up to indicate who's going to be doing things where, but uh, it was it was still in the works, I think. So I should check that out, too. Spitfire is going out detecting tomorrow. Good luck, Spitfires. Find, find, a, <laughs> find a medieval horde, would you? I know you're down south, but hopefully your weather's nice. It's raining here. It was, it was nice weather. It was 70 degrees, but it was raining. I got some... Lawn work done before the rain hit. Anything 300 years or older and made of a precious metal has to be declared. Well, I, you know, I don't have a problem with that. Um, I think... Uh, I, I think there there is and should be a fine but complementary line, it is my two cents, between metal detecting or any kind of treasure hunting and archaeology and history. If, if you find something, it should be reported, it should be documented, it should be available for study. And you just never know. Uh, there might be a coin in that hoard that might be, uh, may have been minted in a place where, it, um, you know, scholars don't know a whole lot about it. So it, it should be, it should be put out there for public knowledge, not locked away in somebody's coin cabinet or safe. So. I'm glad that um, they do that. I do hope, however, that the laws allow the discoverer to receive a fair portion of it, either uh, the coins themselves or in value from, uh, well, in, in this case, from, from England. Detectable was in England, right? It was, in, it was not in Scotland or Wales. I think it was in England. Ike, so you're going to... Lincoln, are you going to put some Ikes into circulation? Remember, don't feed Esmeralda after midnight. I have to feed her too? Jeez, Louise. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. I hope my nugget is silver and not lead. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of that, I, I, I'm on vacation this week, and... Uh, I picked up. I live in New Hampshire, and um, I know next to nothing about um, hunting for gold and panning and things like that. But I had some Amazon cash, so I bought. You're not gonna be able to see it really, but I bought some pans and the gold panning thing. And so there are two pans, a small one. Oh, maybe I should do it this way. So you have the bottle, you have the vials, you have a little tweezer with a magnifying glass on it. Small pan, large pan, and I guess that's the classifier. I mean, you a lot's going to go through that. But, again, I, to my knowledge, there really is not a lot of gold here in New Hampshire. And what did I do with it? Oh, I think it's on my workbench. I bought a package of um, golden pay dirts. It's called their Nugget Reserve Clunker. And supposedly, it has some sort of gold nugget in it. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But that's one of my... That'll be one of my fun projects this uh, this week, along with trying to figure out where Creepy Dolly's going to visit next. Hi, Mike. How are you? Thanks for joining us. And Hoogie, hello. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Yeah, Scott, we just did a, a, a mail call from uh, Amy, part-time detector, Rob Random, Charlie and Sandy Riser, and Ben and Sarah 
Saunders, like a giant garage detectorist. And we were just talking about, well, the Great American Coin Hunt and things like that. So, yeah, uh, North Jersey Detector. I did. I, I got the... I, I don't know. I Like I said, I, I had Amazon... Um, I don't know what they call it. it was, I had a credit on Amazon. And um, so I decided I'd buy that. It wasn't terribly expensive. I think the gold, the pans were, well, I think the pans and the pay dirt, which came in a time, yeah, it's in the other room. It's a, I mean, the package of pay dirt is probably, well, that's a small envelope. It's probably not much bigger than that. And they say there's something in there, so I figure it will be... It's it's just for fun. I'm not expecting to get much out of it, but... So, yes, I did get pay dirt, and we'll see how that goes. If, if I have fun and uh, I get something, great. If I don't, then well, maybe I'll send that set off to somebody. But it would be fun to go... I, I don't know where in the Northeast there is a location where you can pan for gold and have a, a decent probability of finding something. I'm, I'm going to guess probably not in the Northeast. But I don't know. But then again, there's a lot of quartz up this way, and as I understand it, gold and quartz tend to be found together, but, yeah, you know, there's no... There's that correlation, but it doesn't necessarily mean if there's quartz, there's gold, especially up here. Come down south, Riv. Plenty of things to dig and pan for here. Really, Mike? So down in Tennessee? Uh, I'd even thought of going fossil hunting. I saw a documentary on that, and uh, that looked really interesting, too. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to do that. Or down in Virginia? You know, down in... Or down in Georgia? That's right, yeah. Dahlonega was down in Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> Sorry, if I, if I look like I'm just staring at the screen, it's not Esmeralda. I'm not mesmerized by her. I'm reading the chat. Oh, that's funny, Lemonhead. He's... Uh, in Ben's last video, he had mentioned something. Uh, he had he had text on his introductory screen, and he said that he was sending a bunch of parcels out. So that's funny that you got it. So Travis, do a mail call. <laughs> but it's funny that I, I I got I received mine yesterday in New Hampshire. You're in California, and you received it. I'm sorry, strike that. I received mine today this this afternoon. It's funny that you received yours in California. Indiana has gold, Hoosier. I actually, I'd, I'd love to head out that way, Hoosier. Hoosier, did you say you were coming out to the Northeast or New England this summer to see family in Connecticut or something like that? A guy just found the biggest raw ruby I've ever seen in North Carolina. No kidding. I wouldn't even know what they look like. I know in New Hampshire they talk about fluorite. I don't know what value that is. Uh, but I, I don't I don't really know what you know natural wealth like that there is in or mineral wealth there is in New Hampshire. It's the granite state for a reason, so I think it's pretty much as granite. Royal Elmer don't mess around. No, they don't. No, I wish maybe... They, oh. Well, you know, if you ever come up this way, we will connect. No, I thought... Um, uh, who was it? Oh, it was Ozzy Darren. Uh... He 
had a video about the Witta Pirate Museum in, I think it's Yarmouth, Massachusetts, which is not too far from me. And um, I saw the Witta exhibit when it went to Portland, Maine, and it was amazing. And I thought, I want to go down and see it. And what you saw in Portland, Maine was only a portion of it. And he, uh, Darren said, he, I guess, just drove by the museum and thought, because it's in his neck of the woods that he wants to uh, see it. And I, I'd like to go down there, too, and see it. So if you were coming up this way, we could uh, take a look. You'd be amazed. It's a, a, amazing stuff. Yeah, I, I bet down south there's better fossil hunting than there is up here. And the Diamond Mine and Murphy are... Oh, I've heard about that. And you can go there and uh, spend the day and you can sluice through the, uh, the trailings or whatever they have. Yeah, but I, I... That would be a fun thing to do. I'm not a big... I like being out in the woods, but I don't like camping in a... You know, being in a tent. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather be in a cabin or something. But... Um, that's something that I'd even consider sleeping in a tent if we went somewhere and you could either pan for gold or find fossils or things like that. I just see the guys with, you know, their huge sluices and their, you know, they have the generators that run the pumps that I, I, and I set them up on the river. I don't want to do that. I'd want to do more of the, just the, the, the panning, literally the panning. Um, up in Maine, they have, uh, Gosh, I've just spaced out on a tourmaline, a black tourmaline. And I guess that's fairly valuable. And there are mines there, but the mines are privately owned and you can't go in without permission and all that. But I, I should really research what, what I might find in New Hampshire. Uh, let's see. Mike says, I really didn't know all the gemstones were around here until a few years back. We have the gemstone place set up to pay all of our course their salt is. Well, uh, yeah, I th th that's okay. Yeah, that'd be that'd be neat. Speaking of a uh, salted seated, um, is Mike Lyman still on here? Uh, if I don't know if he is, but if you haven't seen Mike's video, uh, North. Now, who else was there? Jason, you didn't go to that. Ozzy was there. Anyway, at um, Pound the Ground in Rhode Island, that was a, it was a seeded hunt, but that looked like a whole lot of fun, and a lot of neat people were there. And uh, I'm not real. I, I have a, what I call a toy metal detector. So I wouldn't want to... <laughs> I'd be embarrassed to go out to a hunt with what I have for a detector. But... A lot of really terrific people were there. Um, oh, Jersey, Hitch, uh, Jersey History Hunters was there. And I know Mike was there, and Wildman was there, and Ozzy was there. Uh, many people I'm probably just forgetting. So if you haven't seen Mike's stream or uh, Jersey History Hunters stream, you should definitely do that. That looked like a really fun time. All right, Marty. Hey, you take care, and... Uh, We'll see you later. Spitfire says, I'm walking and staying along the tracks or creeks here in Georgia. So, Spitfire, what do you find down in Georgia? And Spitfire, do you... I know you're you're into coins, but do you do you do treasure hunting? Do you do you detect? Do you do you pan? Do you go gem hunting? Oh, well, that's good, Brad. You said you were looking for one.
the Spitfire. I've only been twice. Yeah, there. You know, I. There are some old roads in my town. They're called range roads, and they were, they were originally how you would get, well, from across town. Uh, back in the 1700s, and now they're just pretty much hiking trails because the, the main road, which was, one of these roads, ended up having all the, as time went by, ended up having all the the commerce on it and the. The other roads have either old homes on them or the, re the foundations and things from old homes. But yeah, I should probably... They would be a neat thing to detect. Hi, Okte Dogen. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, seven-day event. That would be a... <laughs> that'd be something. Of anything Civil War. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, friends. I think that we have we have been, despite the uh, the technological glitch. Uh, we've been on for an hour, so I think I will sign off. And uh, yeah, just anybody who live streams, I, well. Travis, are you, is your, no, you're, you have, your auctions are Tuesday nights, right? Have you had trouble with live streaming, Travis? And Charlie, your live streams have been fine. But I wonder, Charlie, when you uh, do your next live stream, if you'll have to go through YouTube beta instead of YouTube classic. Hmm. All right, M.A. Lyman, have a great night, and uh, that was a looks like you had a great time at uh, Pound the Ground in Rhode Island. Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Uh, yeah, hopefully the other YouTubers won't have trouble with uh, with figuring out this whole OBS thing. All right. Hey, everybody, have a great night. Thank you, Mike. You have a, a great night, too. And uh, we'll hopefully see you soon. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night.